this video, we are going to learn how copper is purified using electrolysis. Copper metal is extracted from its ore by smelting, but it is not pure enough to be used as an electrical conductor. As a result, it needs to be purified using a process called electrolysis. Electrolysis uses electrical energy to bring about changes where the electrolyte a solution of copper sulfate is in contact with a pure copper sheet and an impure copper sheet. The process starts once a direct current is used to make a circuit. It is very energy intensive. There are two parts, the cathode and the anode. The pure copper sheet is placed at the cathode and the impure copper sheet is placed at the anode. What ions do you think are present in the copper sulfate electrolyte? The answer is that copper 2 plus ions are present in the electrolyte along with sulfate ions. And it's the copper 2 plus ions that will move between the anode and the cathode, allowing oxidation and reduction to occur. At the cathode, copper 2 ions are deposited as copper, as shown in the equation. As this happens, what do you notice happens to the size of the strip? Pause and continue when ready. The answer is that you should notice the cathode strip getting larger because pure copper metal is being deposited at the cathode. Did you get it right? At the anode, copper metal goes into solution as copper two ions, as shown by the equation. When a copper ion is deposited at the cathode, another copper ion goes into solution at the anode. The concentration of the solution effectively stays the same. What do you notice happens to the anode? Pause the video and continue when you're ready. You should have noticed that the anode gradually disappears and sludge is left at the bottom of the reaction vessel. Here's a challenge. Why do you think that industries might not throw away the anode sludge immediately? Remember, the copper strip at the anode is impure. Pause the video and continue when you're ready. Any metal you find in the impure anode, which is below copper in the electrochemical series, doesn't go into solution as ions. It stays as a metal and falls to the bottom of the cell as an anode sludge, together with any unreactive material left over from the ore. Now the anode sludge may contain valuable metals such as silver and gold. Metals above copper in the electrochemical series like zinc will form ions at the anode and dissolve into solution. The copper sulfate solution has to be replaced if the concentration of zinc ions becomes too high. In summary, copper is purified by electrolysis, an energy intensive process. A direct current is passed through a cell containing an electrolyte, an impure sheet of copper at the anode and a pure sheet at the cathode. Oxidation and reduction processes lead to copper being transferred through the electrolyte to the pure copper sheet which grows in size. The impure sheet appears to disappear and leave behind anode sludge.